Well, hello there, guys, YouTubers. Um, I've decided to squeeze one more video out before Christmas, even though I said I wouldn't again. Um, so it's Chris here at Folly Models. Um, we are going to be doing some painting, camouflage painting, in this video. That's just to show you. I've basically sketched out, almost like a watercolour fashion, as you can see with an acrylic wash and then I'm basically in the beginning experimenting away with the paintbrush with some kind of a mottled surface sort of jabbing away with the brush taking some off seeing what effects we can have but at the same time keeping it realistic you know not going too way out into the bounds of artistic expression because after all it is a you know it was a real aircraft and uh want to keep it looking pretty similar which brings me to the next little moan actually well the last one wasn't a moan but this is a moan um about eastern express although first of all i will qualify it and say for the money these i think these are the best beginners kits out there very poor on detail but they're a brilliant solid platform for a beginning for a, a, a modeler who's just setting out and or even doesn't have much money you know just starting out and get one of these for about five five pounds um, and for and just for that reason alone I think they're better than uh, Airfix or Tammy Tammy or any other make for a, for a beginner because it's going to make a lot of mistakes you can play around these kits you can you can bodge them screw them up even throw it away if, it, if you know if you really can't stand what you've done but uh, although that takes a bit of the fun away you know it's good to keep your earlier builds and see how you've progressed but uh, so for that reason alone I would say they're excellent value for money and I highly recommend them to a beginner what I don't recommend so much is their um, painting instructions because for the, the camouflage scheme or the painting scheme painting scheme for this uh, English electric Canberra that is all you get quite simply that port side fuse large diagram nothing else you've got to go on the box or make it up or invent it which okay that's probably quite a good idea for you know a younger modeler at least they're painting something at least they're making something but also at the same time you buy a kit and you're a beginner you want something to go on you know, I mean, that could actually put someone off buying another model. It could actually put them off modelling for good, which would be a shame, because these are such simply constructed kits. But anyway, so, you know, you've basically got that diagram on the front there. About the bent, bent instruction. You've got that diagram on the front, and that really is it. So there are no further painting instructions. None for underneath you know or on the top of the top view of the aircraft or anything just the box and there's also none there are no more on the side of the box apart from that which is the same as on the, on the front so but anyway that's my little moan over about Eastern Express standard of instruction leaflet uh, it's time for a little painting now. So what we'll do, I've got mixed here. I've got a nice darker, very dark green for the camouflage. But we're using a very, again, all I've said it in other videos and I keep going on about it. I can't emphasize it enough. Um, so we're going to go over. Very thin layers. Because although there's some brush marks visible here, once the other thin layers are on, you're not really going to see them. And I may even, I may paint oils over this surface, which was the original intention. But I'm quite enjoying the results I'm getting with just painting the acrylic on. 
well, I was quite pleased with my, I'm not saying, oh, isn't it amazing, brilliant painting, but I was quite pleased with the results I got on my vampire model, on the little rebel vampire I was making, which was a surprise. I just basically got down to it and started painting. And I worked quite quickly, and I think that's why it came out better than I expected. I think if I'd have laboured over it, undenard and, you know, taken way too long, I think I'd have lost what I was trying to achieve in the first place. I think I've had to move my hand then because I think it was in the way. Ugh, I need one of those overhead cameras really. The thing you want to watch is that you don't get too much of a thick line. You can take that off. <clears throat> Just take that off on a piece of tissue or something but you can take the line off because with acrylic otherwise you get this kind of pooling effect the paint pools and you get these kind of water based lines which is not really the idea and if you get too much paint in a kind of paint trough down there you again you can just take it off even when even when the acrylics dry if it's very thin layer you can just keep brushing at it and you'll take it off uh, it might look a bit messy but then you can just paint a thin layer over it so there we are there just keep building up that layer say it's very you want very small amounts I mean really this is what we're talking we're just talking that thin it down so if you put a thick a thick blob on the on your tiny palette or lid or whatever you're using just thin it down and then just carry on Again, just lightly do it. You don't need to press hard on these models with a brush. You just the more you paint, you'll pick that habit up. You know, you don't have to press. So you can actually get into more relaxed mode of painting. The same, just sort of stipple it, mottle it, get the little bits off, get your lines off. Or if you want a you know more of a, a linear camouflage, if you want it stronger, then leave the lines in. It's up to you, really. I mean, at the end, when all's said and done, as long as the model looks like a camera or a tank or a, a ship, whatever you're trying to make, as long as it looks like your Spitfire, or and you're happy with it, that's all that counts, as far as I'm concerned. Patience brings results, it's not a race. <laughs> he tells himself. Feels like at this time of year though. Christmas looming. Quite literally, it's about to pounce. And me being the last. Always leaves things till the last moment. So I just thought, oh, I'm going to squeeze another painting video out for anyone out there who likes this sort of thing. Um, the reason I went on about the uh, lack of instructions on there is if you're paying out for a kit, you're paying out for the whole package as far as I'm concerned. And a lot of us, you know, school kids and modelers as well, if they want to try this, they haven't naturally always got time to be looking things up on the internet. You know, we're all kind of, we've all got these demands placed on our time these days way too many I think but 
it would have been nice to have them in, in the instructions. Like I say, sometimes you just want to get on and build the kit. You don't want to start researching in the library. You can do that later when you know if you really get into it, but I think sometimes you just want it there. It's a good reference. You can't beat the concrete, you know, a material a piece of paper or a photograph as opposed to you know some online inaccurate rendering. Although saying that there's a lot of brilliant totally brilliant photographs and instructions that have been unloaded up. So we just just keep building it up. Um, I'm also going to be putting some more shades of tones of grey onto the over that grey. You can now just see the pre-shading coming through quite nicely there on that original pen work. But, uh, so again, just put a little bit on the touch on the lid, thin it down. You know, don't be frightened of the paint, just, well, the only time to be frightened of the paint is if you've got it on your mother's carpet or something, then it's a bit scary. But apart from that, so we just go over, these little places. Don't worry about making mistakes, you can always, because that's the advantage of using thin washes. Because if you go over, if you go into another area too much, then you can just mix up the colour that it's gone into and, and uh, you should get away with it. So that's a bit, a little bit thick there, so I just take it off. Same there. I mean, I just learn more the more I do this. I mean, the strange thing about painting is the surface you're painting on affects, obviously affects your technique, so you have to sort of adapt to it. If you've not worked on that surface before, you're kind of almost forced into finding quick, quick ways or solutions to to get the result you're after. <clears throat> so this this model's not going to be finished now until, well, there is no final date to finish it. If it's finished in a month or two, that'd be nice, but which is probably be the case because it's Christmas, as I say, looming and holidays looming. So. But these. These Eastern Express kits are such a solid template. They really are for for, for learners, you know, beginners, you know, or people just want to, or, or experienced models that just want to try out our techniques, and they don't want to spend money on a, you know, a really good expensive kit. You know, because I am impressed with, I was impressed with the undercarriage on this. That was so solid, and it went together so well. They're all painted up now and put in a separate place ready for when I glue them on. But they were painted up, sorry, they were constructed so well in such a solid fashion. Uh, they were non glueable parts, some of it as well. They just clicked in. But they clicked in better than more expensive kits that I've had. And consequently, which have broken off. These didn't break at all. These are, 
was really impressed with that. So I'm slowly coming together, slowly coming together. This will be considerably darker, it's going to be a much darker green um, when it's finished. But anyway you can see what I'm, what we're aiming for here. Some more. Incidentally, I did go online in the end to find the camouflage scheme for this for this model. Um, there weren't actually there were not that many there. It was quite a, it was a bit of a search. But we found one in the end. Some little diagram. Very helpful person had posted so this is literally almost like just watercolor wash going on over because say so when it when it puddles up just just take it off okay and I think that concludes this little video squeezed out before they put the turkey on the table, or whatever it is you're eating, the goose, or the duck, <laughs> or the chicken even, whatever takes your fancy. So there, I've got an unnecessary line there. Okay guys, thanks for watching and uh, keep you posted. Have a good Christmas all of you out there. Thanks for watching, bye for now.